Liverpool v everybody. Um, made a video last night. Um, made a few different versions of a video. Um, emotion was high, of course. They just love passion and feeling about this team right now. Just took me somewhere else. Um, had some other things going on last night. Just didn't end up uploading it. But it's probably best to come back now. Having some time with it. I'm kind of speaking as if we lost or something. But, uh, you know, here it is, man. Uh, by now, we all know it at Anfield. Um, the beautiful Anfield where I don't know if I've heard Liverpool. Con it felt like anyway. Liverpool supporters constantly singing literally all game. There were very few, if any, moments of just sort of sparse sounds, you know, here and there. They, those guys and women, those people, sang all damn game, got behind that team all damn game. And in a situation, in most cases, the build up to this game, there's so much excitement. Um, these are the two most successful teams in England. Um, you know, we know the history, but United right now look like us when we were sort of the laughing stock and people could poke at us about having winning a, won, winning a league in 30 years. That could, very be, that could very well be United. I mean, that performance last night, shout out to Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, losing a seat like that, that's, that's, that's tough. That's tough. I um, know what that feels like, I, actually. So, you know, lose, that's, that's really rough to deal with. And, um, you know, I just shout him out and his family, much love. And, condolences their way but um did united as a club lose a child i mean the, the, the way they played last night last night was um I've, I've never seen united side that that bad when you see phil jones in your defense i mean come on that's you know matic and some of these dudes that this is united this is the squad that you pump all of this money into this is a squad that ronaldo wanted to be a part of I mean, was that just for shits and giggles and nostalgia? Because this this team is broken. This United team is absolutely broken. And, and you think the manager somehow is thinking three at the back, essentially five defenders, is going to keep the way you set up, though, that's going to keep Liverpool out? Really? I mean, that was your, you know. And so once we got that first goal, that was kind of it. You kind of knew this was going to be or had a high possibility. probably should have been. Another five nil. Nine nil on aggregate. Nine nil. Shout out to Jordan, the man, Henderson, surpassing Sammy Hippia um, on appearances for Liverpool, obviously still under Gerard. And that other fellow whose name won't be mentioned on this channel. Um, but uh, there's just so many players to talk about. And I don't know how much time I have to do it, but the fact that we're supporting a team right now with all of these just superstar next level world-class players in every single position it's unreal you got to pinch yourself to see tiago still 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 priming it out this is still his prime i mean i know it's hard to believe he's getting up there in age, but this guy is still, to, to have at some point being a liverpool fan and to think further in time we're going to get a tiago who's still killing it imagine if tiago just never had injury issues same with nabby you know, but Thiago just put on an incredible, incredible display of midfield, um, of the midfield position and everything that encompasses that. Um, and it was a beautiful thing to see. But again, like everybody was on it. Shout out to the brother uh, Hannibal, who came off the off the bench to do just that, you know, to do just that snatch at people. Um, and shout out to Robertson, who is, is sort of our enforcer on this team. Um, there's so many examples of him saying, basically, point him out. I got him. I'm going to get him. You know, and um, he put that elbow on Hannibal's back, and I think that was the last we saw of Hannibal. You know, that guy was out there snatching. I, I, get a, I get a brother credit for having a little heart and, you know, showing something that them other players weren't showing. But, you know, Robinson wasn't having that. And, yeah, as you see, they stopped putting that camera on him after that. So, you know, again, Mane, just incredible. Um you know, Salah back with the goals and a great game to decide to do that, knowing that we have, I think, Everton coming up. And just knowing that these every game, sounds cliche now, but every game is like a final. Um, it's like a cup competition. Every single game, whether it be in the league or actually in cup competitions. So 
um, it's just amazing to be supporting this team right now and to seeing how great we're doing. That front three last night, I mean, come on. Assisting each other, all three scoring goals, and, and beautiful goals, the team play, the pass from Mane to Salah. This is the idea that we've, I've said it before, we've all said it about, you know, those guys being, um, you know, uh, somewhat, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Individually, them having moments where they've been selfish. At the same time, Salah is quietly, I guess, leading the league in goals and assists. It, it's just, you know, uh, but to see Mane getting back into his scoring form, because I feel like totally as a football player, I don't think he just lost form. There was a point in time where he just wasn't getting the goals. Salah had his patch, you know what I mean? But it's nice to know that we got dudes on either side of them that can step up. Or we'll just get center backs to step up from um, from corners. We're leading the league in corners, I think, as far as goals out of that. 12, I think, it's what the number is. But, um, yeah, just, just I mean, just this feels like it's written, man. It feels like it's written. You know, um, we go above City for the minute. I believe City. Does City play today or they play at the weekend? Um, so, uh, this this seems crazy, man. It, this, this, this unprecedented... Um, sort of situation that we we seem to be on the cusp of obviously we, we don't control our, our control our destiny in the league anymore um but the other competitions of course we do so um yeah i don't know man it's just it's just so much that i could say about this team it's so much to say um but without you know repeating myself i just leave it at that yeah i mean i just think um you know one is this united team is really really bad really 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 bad um but, you know, this Liverpool team is just the total opposite and, and, and going and pushing all together, singing from the same hymn, hymn sheet in one total different direction of, of a team like United. I mean, just abysmal, uh, the, the performances that, that United team is putting out um, of late. But, uh, yeah, just overall, man, just really, really proud of the team. Um, I think there's probably going to be some big moves in the summer, um, hopefully coming in as well, but definitely going out. And I think this is a team who you see you know that has worked together for so long and there's a realization that something possibly quite possibly could happen big this summer um and these guys are just you know putting it together fighting together every day man training meetings games whatever um and Klopp just tell them look 90 more minutes let's do it give me everything you got put everything to the side for 90 minutes give me everything you got you you and you are starting you know yes you um, you, you, you are coming on halftime, um, you know, 60 minutes, 70, 80, whatever. Um, and this is us, you know, and again, that embrace from Klopp, uh, the, the embrace that Klopp had with them, it was two that really, and we've seen Klopp do the, 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 the cuddle thing for, since he's been there, which we all love, but that embrace with Diaz and Tiago, I think in unison, we all felt that same hug or, or we're hugging those two players at the same time. The Diaz one is just, what a find you were, son. What a find. Um, just fitting right into our squad. Uh, we needed that. We needed that 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 little shot in the arm at that time um, in the season. And then Tiago, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful player, man. Uh, apparently, it was his shorts that was ripped. He didn't have he didn't have an injury or something like that. Well, Klopp was just being a little bit um, safe with, but. Uh, you know, but you can say that about everybody, man. Every, every embrace that he has with these players, it means something. When you see Fab on the side being hugged by both Tiago and Semikaz, who's everybody's, you know, favorite dude now, Semikaz. Just love seeing how thrilled he is to play with Liverpool. But, um, yeah, I can go on and on. But it, it's just, this this seems like it's, it's what we're about to do, man. You know, those, those four trophies. Definitely getting three, I believe. Definitely getting three, which is still a big. Which is still big, um, but still got the games to play. Uh, we just we just look really unstoppable right now. We really just look unbeatable. And when you think about this season, if we do accomplish that unprecedented four trophies, I mean, just based off that, it had to go. It have to go down as the best team in Premier League history, but also the best team in Liverpool history, which is a massive statement. I know about the years of all the other greats and you know John Barnes and you know the King and. You know, all of these dudes. Um, but this team right here, man, special. Special. The depth, the togetherness, um, 
No, we, we lost two games in the Premier League. Um, maybe two in uh, in Europe. Games that didn't really count, though. You know, meaning we got the first leg and or one of the legs pretty convincingly. Um, but it's just a, a dominating team, man. Dominating team. So, just proud about it. I'm sure you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But, um, yeah, we keep going. We keep going and uh, continue to try to achieve this this crazy quadruple of trophies, man. Much love to everybody. See you soon.